Here are some of the most common questions that I get in my six-figure mentorship program. So the first one is, how much money do you really need to invest in order to make six figures? Now, the point of the program is to help people get access to business lines of credit, business loans, that type of stuff, so they have some capital in order to invest. So some people come into the program, they're literally dead broke, they don't have any money to invest, and we help them make that life transformation, that financial freedom we're helping them achieve. And so we're helping them get access to capital, invest it into all these different things and then scale to six figures. So we're pretty familiar with how much money it really takes for somebody to invest in order to generate that six figures in passive income. And I would say it definitely ranges. I've literally had people come into the program, they invest 10 or $20,000 out of the funding that we got them, and then they're able to generate six figures in passive income. Now, it might not happen immediately, right? It might take some time. I've also had people who wanna take the, the no money route, they wanna do the sweat equity route where they get into the program, we teach them exactly how they can get access to capital, and if they choose not to, they don't have to. So they can go in on these deals without any money. So they can find people who are willing to fund these deals, right? Sometimes it's owner funded, sometimes it's another partner, and they're wanting to do the sweat equity portion of it, which means that they wanna go in, they wanna be the operator, they wanna be the manager, whatever, and they're helping this investment work by managing the day-to-day. -day. This allows them to not invest any money up front and still generate you know, six, seven figures in income just by operating these investments. Now, for somebody that actually does wanna invest capital, you know, I've seen people invest $10,000, $20,000, all the way up to millions and millions of dollars because they wanna generate six and seven figures in passive income. So the minimum, you know, I'd say $10,000, $20,000 is a good number to keep in mind, but I definitely wouldn't stop yourself there because obviously the more money you invest, the less you have to risk. So imagine it like this. If you're investing only $10,000, you're gonna to have to 10X your investment that year in order to generate six figures. But if you're investing $100,000 or maybe $200,000, so if you got a loan of $200,000 for investment, you invest the $200,000, you only have to get a 50% return. Now, I know for some of you that might seem high, but realistically, we have investments that are doing 20, 30, 40, 50% a month, we're not even talking about a year. So the people who invested $200,000, they could be generating literally $100,000 a month right off the bat. And yes, we have seen this happen over and over and over again. So the amount that it takes to invest in order to generate six figures varies person to person. It depends on how much risk you're willing to take and how much money you're comfortable investing. It all depends on you and your investment plan. Another question that I get a lot is, is there opportunity to still make money with Forex? Now, Forex has been around for quite a long time and it had a real peak in excitement and hype a couple of years ago. So a lot of people were getting into the game, they were trying to trade without really knowing how to trade, they were trying to do everything on their own, they weren't relying on indicators or bots that maybe could trade for them, right? So we've created an expert advisor, a bot basically, that trades automatically for people. So I've been using it for years and years and years, it's literally over six years at this point that I've been using it um, and I've been using it on my own money, I've been using it on a PAM account, right? So we give our clients access to these things and they're able to literally generate like massive, massive passive income. They're able to generate six and seven figures depending on their investment. And so we have full access to that in the program at Cashflowpreneur. You're gonna see the link below in the description on exactly how you can access something like that. But yes, absolutely, there's definitely an opportunity in Forex to still make money. And we actually have multiple different ways for people to make money. If they wanna be a private client, that's one route where they can directly access the software. If they wanna be part of the PAM account, we have that option as well for people. And then we also work with prop firms. Prop firms is basically getting access to capital that's not yours without it being a loan, right? So you're not necessarily taking a loan, you're not getting a credit check, it's not at all registering on your profile, or your credit or your social security at all, but it's giving you access to capital that you can use to trade. So there are these companies out there who want people to trade their money. They have investor capital and they want people to trade it. So if people are trading that capital, they're collecting 20 to 30% of all profits. You're not liable for any losses at all. The hard part, the really the hardest part of this whole process is getting access to these accounts because they usually come with sort of like a challenge process where you have to prove your trading ability. So you either prove that on your own or you use a software to pass it or maybe 
you know somebody that can help you through that process. But once you have that live account, that's when you can start either trading manually or you can start using a bot to generate those automatic profits for you month after month after month. The third question that I get the most often is, what is the best place for a beginner to start investing? And I think that's such a, an age old question. Everybody wants to know, hey, what should I invest in? Should I invest in exotic cars or Forex or Airbnbs or real estate, maybe play it safe, right? Well. Here's the thing, it all depends on your own personal investment plan and we help you craft that investment plan just based on the different risk factors that can contribute to this. So there's two types of risk. The risk that you're willing to take, right? If you're a high risk person or a low risk person, if you're prone to take higher risks or maybe you're really risk averse, well, that's gonna paint a different picture when you come to the table and you start looking at all these investments. You're gonna have your lower risk investments, you're gonna have medium risk, you're gonna have high risk investments, and even ultra high risk investments. Now, typically the way that it works is the lower risk investments don't perform as well. They're just not doing as well as far as profits go. When it comes to monthly returns or annual returns, you're still probably gonna get a good return, but it's just not as high as the ultra high risk investments. The ultra high risk investments is where people are making a lot of money right off the bat, and they're not even having to invest a lot of their own personal capital. So most people who do not want to invest a lot of capital, but they still wanna generate a lot of money as far as monthly returns, they're gonna go the high risk route. And then people who are more conservative and maybe they have more money to invest, they just don't wanna make as much money, they're gonna go the low risk route and maybe go with even physical assets where they're holding on to something that they can see and touch and feel. And that just makes them more comfortable than money being somewhere in the markets that they can't really physically see or touch or hear or smell or whatever it is. So that just makes them more comfortable comfortable to have something physical. So guys, if you found this helpful, make sure you click the link in the description below. It's going to take you to my website and there you can download my free passive income guide on exactly the types of things that we invest in at Cashflowpreneur and make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe.